Plowshare is many things to many people. It's a life-sharing community where people, including some with disabilities and other challenges, share their lives in an extended family environment. It's a fully functioning farm on 200 peaceful acres in southern New Hampshire. Where all of us, regardless of our differences, can live and work with dignity and purpose. While caring for the land. Focusing on joy and capability, not disability. Ultimately, Plowshare is about bringing joy, purpose, and meaning to life. <laughs> We are an intentional community where we share our lives, our homes, and our work with all kinds of different people. Some of us who have chosen to live here have special needs, some have other challenges. Some, like me, live in extended family, life-sharing households. Some people come in from the surrounding community on a daily basis, either to share their skill with us or to learn new skills. And every year, we get a group of volunteers from all over the world and from the United States. We can call people, co-workers, people with special needs, volunteers, clients, whatever label you want to give them. But in daily life here at Plauschen Farm, that really all falls away and you're not even aware of it anymore. People are just people. So there are three key aspects of life here at Plowshare. First and foremost, there's life sharing. Life in a life sharing house is, it's an adventure. We wake up together around seven in the morning and- Some people are making their beds. Some people are getting dressed. Some are attending to personal care. Some people are helping to set the table or cook breakfast. Life sharing provides ample opportunity for everyone to get involved in some way. Some of what we do is undeniably challenging, but it's wholly fulfilling. Everything we do in the house has real meaning and purpose. Thank you, Eric. I'm focusing on my job. Every meal begins with a blessing. May the meal be blessed. So, Pete, what are you doing today? Hi. Yeah, what are you doing with Holly? Uh, how about? Yeah, what are you doing today? Today we are going to Peterborough. Isn't there a concert on? Would you like to go see the concert? And after breakfast, each person has their job. In the morning after breakfast, I sweep the floor. A lot of mornings I do the dishes, but today Rochelle got there first. We uh, take care of everything what needs to be done in the house. And then everyone gets their appropriate work gear on, and we head off to work. Every person at Plowshare, regardless of ability, does meaningful work. Work is a birthright. And just because somebody has a disability, we don't have a right to take away the gratification of work from them. And life on a farm provides ample opportunity for work. That's how we get most of the food we consume. Including vegetables from the crops that we cultivate. Eggs that come from our chickens. Get your hot corn here! Dairy products that come from the cows we milk. On the average morning I get two, two and a half gallons of milk. Some of that will go to the houses. 
and some of that will just go to be changed into yogurt, cheese, or pork. Anything we make out of milk, it, we, we eat it here. All the work anybody is doing here at Klaus Schiffer is real work, is needed, and contributes to the well-being here of the community. It matters. Take somebody like Will. He knows that the compost that he spreads on the bed this fall is going to be next year's vegetables. It's going to feed the community. Beyond farming, there are many other areas of work. Our bakers give us our daily bread, our cookies, and our granola. I am the granola chef. We have a candle making studio where candles are made out of beeswax that we use both in our homes and we also sell around town. We are even blacksmiths. Strikers ready. Cameras up. Oh, we are blacksmiths, don't you know? We heat iron till it glows. Hammer, 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 ring. Bellows creak and anvils ring. Back to the fire, Ben Hooper. Then we have people from the outside community like Louis, who comes in his big red truck and pick up Dennis. Good morning, Louis! Then they go off to the recycling center or delivering firewood or getting grain for his horses, and they have a blast. The work lasts all morning, then lunch is a shared meal together at the Agora. This is our kitchen crew, and they work pretty diligently to prepare a communal lunch. Uh, we do this every day, Monday through Friday, in our community hall. It's about community. And holding it all together is the recognition of our spiritual wholeness. While we're non-denominational and don't follow any particular religion, we do have a strong spiritual focus. And that allows everybody, no matter what challenges they're dealing with, to experience life with a sense of dignity and grace. recognize that each individual, each human being, regardless of their ability or perceived disability, um, is a spiritually complete human being. Spirituality isn't something we just think about, it's something we practice. And one of the ways of doing that is we have a Bible supper every Wednesday for anyone who would like to participate. Everyone comes and gathers around a candle, takes some time to just be quiet. Then we share a simple meal. And then we read over a passage in the Bible. And we reflect on the passage's meaning in our own lives. The spiritual life here is very much correlated with the natural world and, and with the changing of the seasons, which is strongly connected to the celebration of our festivals and to our inner mood. We recently celebrated the little-known holiday of Michaelmas. What Michaelmas is all about is it's kind of this transition time from summer through fall to winter when the darkness of winter might be a little frightful. Which is represented by a play we perform where we slay the dragon, symbolizing the inner strength we need to make it through the dark months ahead. Can we harvest together? And finish it off with an outdoor feast.
People especially need to thrive here because there is a clear rhythm. There is consistency and we get to know each other very well. There is a lot of space. People can safely move around. The freedom and autonomy that the people with special needs have here, it's hard to imagine them having that living elsewhere. When I see that my son Dennis, who's not able to cross a street by himself, is able to walk to work on his own, it just fills my heart with tremendous joy. He feels like a human being. This isn't a community for people with special needs. It's a community that includes people with special needs. It's a broad community where people with many different interests, coming from many different backgrounds, many different capabilities, all choose to live together. I choose to live in pleasure because I feel productive here. I do meaningful work. And I have a good social life here. I choose to live at Plowshare Farm because of the lifestyle we are striving for. And that lifestyle is all about sustainability as well as inclusivity. I have friends here. And we're going to? Yes, I have. I have work here. Yeah, Plowshare gives me a life. Here, I have a whole community surrounding me. Plowshare Farm is one of the most vibrant, um, nourishing, loving communities that I've ever lived in. This is home. We have a strong cultural life here. We have wonderful relationships with musicians who love coming here. And the interaction we have with this community is really at the heart of why we play. The appreciation of art and beauty is something that all of us human beings can have. There's so many aspects of what it means to have a cultural life. We do watercolor painting. We do fiber arts. We have a ceramic studio. Here at Plowshare, the line between art and therapy, our cultural life and therapy, doesn't exist. Eurythmy, for example, is an unusual art form that has unique therapeutic benefits and a performance aspect. And we love to party. There is a local band called Tattoo. Everybody here is just thrilled whenever Tattoo comes to play. Parties are one of the times that Plowshare shines. When you have the band playing on stage, it's clear that everybody's on an, an equal playing field. The same light and joy is coming from every single person. We are also really integrated into the wider community around us. There's a whole slew of things that we do out in the wider community. Last night I went to see a baseball game in Keene. We got the Plowshare Contra Dance Group. And they're really into the New England Contra Dance scene. Peter Wells is well known at the Greenfield Library. Time Magazine and a travel guy. There's a, a really nice old movie theater in Wilton. Dennis, you're a good man. And it's good to see you. There's a few people who really love to go. On Monday nights, most of us go to church dinner in Peterborough. Good to see you, Will. How you doing? Small towns give you great opportunities for big relationships. We're deeply integrated into the wider community because we're a part of that wider community. We recently opened our own store over in Wilton. It's called Local Share. 
where we sell excellent coffee, local crafts, and products we make here on the farm. It's like a little bit of an oasis in town. It's a really nice work environment. It is really nice to have a spot that you can come and just feel the quiet and get good coffee. And not too, too hot. And in addition to being a great cafe and coffee shop, you get to see at Local Share the opportunities for work. I make lattes and cappuccinos and tea, and I get to do work that I enjoy doing. Work that is also about connecting with other people. Their milk and cream is right over there. Being a presence in the community and having relationships in the community. It's real, meaningful work. Here you go. Professionals in the field who know us recognize that Plowshare Farm offers people with special needs a rich, full, and rewarding life. I've been working with people with developmental disabilities since 1976. And when I started uh, seeing some of the people from Plowshare in my office, I was very intrigued. So when they invited me to visit, I jumped at the chance. And I immediately realized this was a unique environment for people with developmental disabilities. One of the finest I had ever seen in all my years being in the field. This is a working, caring community. And that's what makes the parents of people with special needs feel secure. My son Peter joined the community 12 years ago. In those 12 years, Peter has flourished. This is a working farm and he's part of that work. Peter identifies himself as a farmer. As a parent, I just feel blessed that we found this place for, for Peter. For Eric, that this is a thriving community makes a big difference. Eric, what are you up to yeah. this morning? Yeah. Are you on the farm this morning? Yeah. He draws a lot of energy from the interactions with other people. He can make a contribution to everyday life and do something really valuable. Micah's life here is joyous. By living here, what Micah gets is a sense of belonging, of importance, of contributing to a community, and really being part of something where he is a peer and not someone that's being taken care of. Ah! At Plowshare Farm, there is true inclusion. Dennis is part of the life here. So what are you up to this morning, Dennis? Recycling. He feels it, he knows it, he's part of it. I'm getting a little emotional because I'm so, this is the heart of the matter for Dennis. Dennis is included. He knows that he's counted in here. Every aspect of the life here is inclusive, and there is really a grace that is embodied in the life, in the land, in the environment, in the thinking and feeling of Plowshare Farm. We're really proud of having created a beautiful environment using very limited resources. We conserve, we repair, we recycle. We try to be sustainable and tread as lightly as possible and do as little as possible damage to the earth. We heat our homes with the wood that we cut and split ourselves. And our recent addition of solar panels means that we generate electricity in the most conscious way possible. We are basically fossil fuel free. I think that's something to be really proud of. I feel full of gratitude to live and work in such a beautiful part of the world. This is a really beautiful place to be. Plowshare Farm is continually striving to provide an environment where everyone can find their true place and purpose. Living life in a way that is uniquely fulfilling and meaningful and spiritually uplifting. 
sharing that life with others. Seeking the goodness and wholeness in each individual. And striving together to cultivate the common elements of what it means to be human.